Welcome to today's video guys. I'm really pumped because we are finally jumping into the off-road Miata, ripping out that transmission, the diff and all that kind of stuff, putting a whole bunch of new parts in to make this thing feel that thousand times better than what it does now because it's broken and it makes really bad weird noises. Anyways, that aside, let's just get straight into it. I want to have the diff and transmission out within the next hour. I know I can do it. You guys know I've been doing a lot of training work on Miatas and stuff, so this should be a piece of cake. The only thing I'm worried about is uh, mud, dirt, and rust because it's an off-road car. Also, please let me know what are your thoughts on what I should name this uh, off-road Miata. I'm not, I, I'm not happy personally calling it an off-road Miata. Anyway, we're talking too much. It's an intro. Let's get this started. So the camera stopped filming the time lapse somewhere in the middle there, um, but Marcus came over and gave me a hand and we dropped the diff and the transmission. I got everything done within the hour, which I'm really happy with, uh, like I guess our working pace. Everything is so filthy as you can see on the ground, there's just dirt and mud everywhere. I'm not looking forward to sweeping the floor, but transmission was just covered as well. So I got that soaking in purple power. Gonna give it a quick pressure wash. I know uh, there's no point in trying to go crazy and cleaning anything because it's just gonna get muddy and dirty again. But I'd rather not, like, well, I've got that on my arms and shoulders, putting it back in, get covered in mud and grease and grossness. So give that a quick pressure wash. Um, I do want to quickly say, if anyone needs 1643 viscous LSD diffs, it does turn out that this diff is fine. It was just both axles that were broken. So if anyone needs a 43 diff with a tail shaft, I've got you. Hit me up in the DMs. I also have another set. This one's like a complete set, though. We got the diff, axles, and tail shaft. So this is the one that came out of the red one. Um, both working viscous LSDs. This one did some insane burnouts and was totally fine. Locked up both, no one wheel peels or anything. It's 4.3, perfect for the 1.6. So yeah, definitely, if anyone, you guys want this stuff, come pick it up, pick up only, not shipping this stuff. Hit me up in the DMs. But for now, I'm gonna clean this stuff up and we'll get onto the clutch. What y'all up to? I'm just chilling here in the Yee Yatter and... <laughs> Jeez, it smells like swamp and mud in here. Good thing we're about to talk about today's sponsor, which is Dapsky. If you don't know who Dapsky is, Dapsky is an epic online store dedicated to making only the best air fresheners out there on the market for all car enthusiasts. And what I love about them is they specifically focus on the JDM Japanese car community. But don't worry guys, if you're not into Jap cars, that's totally fine if you're into some American muscle. Well, uh, they got you as well. But all of that aside, guys, I need to pick something for this car to make it smell. But I probably need about 30 of these, though, because this thing smells really bad after the last uh, little bit of mudding we did in this thing. It's 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 bad. So I got the perfect air freshener here for the Yiata, and that is this Sheila here for the simple fact of she's got a pretty mouth. But anyways, go check out dasky.com and get yourself some really sick air fresheners. I can't recommend them enough, and I say this every time they sponsor a video, but one of the best things about that company is that they are car enthusiasts, so you're getting something for car enthusiasts made by a car enthusiast, so they know exactly what you want. So now every time when I'm ripping through the puddles and the mud, I'm not gonna get that stinky, stinky swamp smell. I'm gonna smell nothing but beautiful sea breeze. And don't forget guys, to support the companies that support me. Literally, I would not be able to do the things that I'm doing. In fact, I probably wouldn't even be able to get this Yada if it wasn't for Dashki. So definitely go give them some love, check out their website, grab some air freshness for your ride, and let's get on with the video. So the transmission is looking way cleaner and better than it used to. And then over here, I've taken the clutch off and made an interesting discovery. We do have a light and flywheel in this car, which is kind of cool. Um, but when I took the pressure plate and the disc off, this just, the pilot bearing just came flying out. I don't know if the camera can show this too well, but this is not the right size. It just slips right in there and slips in and out. So um, yeah, that definitely wasn't great. So that just fell right out. 
just looks like a normal organic disc and uh, like OEM pressure plate. So we're gonna definitely change that up for the ACT uh, four puck one that we have that came out of the red car that couldn't hold the power and we should be good. Um, and then the main reason why I decided to just do a clutch and take the whole tranny out was because of this really bad uh, leaking rear main. As you can see, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty terrible. So good time to get in there and fix all that up. I was also wondering why this transmission was missing a few bolts and stuff, and I can see that one of them's actually snapped off here. So I'm not gonna bother trying to extract that. There's just no point. And I mean, if you're missing one or two bolts, that's really not a big deal on these things. As long as you got really <laughs> top two and bottom ones, you should be fine. Um, there's only really one missing bolt or two, I think tops. So let's get this all the brake cleaned. Try not to go too crazy with cleaning because yeah, this thing's definitely dirty, but obviously I gotta remember that uh, this is an off-road car, so it's just gonna get even more. Oh wow, my subframe's practically dirt at this point. It's gonna get even more dirty as time progresses, so there's no point freaking out over a bit of dirt and grime. So let's get this cleaned, pop the new rear main in, clutch, flywheel, all that jazz, and then get that transmission back in, put the 1A diff in, and uh, switch out suspension, and go for a rip. So a pretty big update. I've just been focusing on getting this done as quickly as possible. Transmission's back in, connected to the power plant frame, and the new 1.8 diff is in there. Pretty much all I gotta do now is tail shaft, axles, put the exhaust back in, zip tie up the wiring loom, and this thing can run again and drive off uh, the lift. So I'm gonna pretty much smash that out, and I'll give you an update once that's all done and the thing's running. So the Mia truck is pretty much all back together. I just gotta to put the shifter in. I just finished putting on that uh, upgraded bushing here to make the shifter way stiffer and whatnot. Greased it all up. So I'm gonna go put that in. And I've also got that brand new boot over here. So this thing is gonna really make that thing nice because there was so much hot air and just mud and stuff splashing up out from where the transmission was. So I'm glad we got all this from Treasure Coast. Let's slap this guy back in there. Let's look for the position point there. Let's get that in there. Might be a bit tight with the new bushing, so there she goes. We in, boys? All right, now where did I put those bolts? Somewhere here. I know I complain about this a lot, but it really is difficult doing some of this stuff with one hand, not gonna lie. All right. I'm so excited to drive this now that we've just done clutch, diff, New fluids. I actually put some like thicker good stuff in the transmission as well just to try and like help if any water does get in there. And obviously all the new boots and seals and stuff that we've put on the shifter are really gonna help prevent any water from getting in there. So that'll help a lot. Made sure there's like seals and boots and stuff on the clutch fork. Make sure no water and mud sprays up in there as well. We got so much more work to do this thing as well though. Like all the seals in the engine bay. We just finished stripping out the interior. So much to get done, but the first, I guess, all the big stuff's done. We still gotta put that suspension in too, but we've run out of time to do that today. I think I'll still put my hoop, my uh, like kind of roll bar in today. We'll definitely get this in, this is relatively easy. Um, I kind of want to look for like bucket seats for this too. I really don't like the OEM seats in here because I'd like to get bucket seats and then just try and maybe like get a harness, like four point harness would be sick. But yeah, anyways, I'm probably going a little bit over top for this thing, but I'm just having fun with it. All right, battery's connected. Hopefully this thing starts and we're all G. Woo! He's alive. Shit loud though. Oh, we need to adjust the engagement point on this clutch for sure. It's like the flying Miata one. <laughs> Almost want to go test out that diff right now. Yee yee! You can really feel the difference that this new diff and stuff has made. It's a lot like, it's a lot perkier, if that makes sense. Yo, what's good? Wow! That's a storm and a half coming, eh? Big lightning close. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know, I just finished doing a diff, training, clutch, whole bunch of stuff on this today. Are you gonna ride the lightning? I mean, I was thinking about just doing a couple donuts by the lake over there to <laughs> test the diff, but... I'm also curious, what do you think this thing makes? We should do a baseline on this at some point. It'd be interesting to see. Because like with the, I don't know, like would bigger tires take away from it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, right? Should. Yeah. Interesting. Do you like the exhaust mod? 
I don't know if like's the right word. Yeah, I was going for Bosozoku, but... Yeah, definitely there. Right? I wasn't looking. Pretty good, right? Very straight pipe. Yeah. You at least put one like pipe out the back. I was thinking of doing one like really high with a star or something. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. <laughs> Yo, Marcus, what do you think? You need to track the dump right here. That's what I was thinking, like Bustle Loku, right? With a flap. Yeah. You can get on the tractor. Stop the water from getting in their tractor supply? Yeah, it's right by my house. Alright. Cool. Yeah, so, man, they cut the hole in the back right here for the two tires. <laughs> Supply. That would actually be kind of cool. And my supply. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty worried about this storm rolling and it seemed pretty gnarly. So what do you guys do when you've been working non-stop for like 10 hours straight to get your car back up and running to the point where you can drive it off the lift? Obviously you want to go test it and especially when you've just put a welded diff in there, you 100% want to go test it. So we're going to go do some donuts here. We got uh, the Yiata, that's what I'm going to call it now, the Yiata. <laughs> that sounds funny. We're gonna get some decals on this thing. So we're gonna go here next to the lake here and just try and do some doughies in the grass and the sand and just see if the welder diff is working. Mind you though, I still didn't do that engine mount. So um, I gotta uh, be careful on the clutch kicks because otherwise the engine's just gonna jump straight out of the engine bay. So anyways, let's put you guys down and have some fun. I'm kind of low-key excited because you guys are gonna be able to hear the, uh, the Boss Ozoku exhaust really well. Yay, 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 yay! is way more controllable now that we got that uh, welded diff. It felt so much better than the other day. Definitely way more predictable, a lot more understeery, and way more in control of the wheel. I can't wait to go bash this thing at our spot. This is gonna be epic. And the exhaust is definitely ignorant as hell, but it makes it awesome. <laughs> look at these two beautiful cars. Oh look, it's Mr. America himself. America. What do you think of my, um, Yada? That's the name? That's the nada name. Yeah, you gotta say it properly, man. Yeah. I would have named it Shark Bite. It's got a shark face. Kinda does, but you gotta say it properly, man. Yada? Yeah. How about Marata? America? That's not that's not a bad idea either. Just whatever you do, don't put Joe Exotic on the set. Shots fired. Yeah, yeah. Well you know. That's just me. <laughs> Alright. So it's been a minute, but I really want to take the Forge Miata out for a little bit of a drive. We're going to try and drive this thing around as much as we can to help bed in the clutch before dyno. Um, but uh, all in all, I'm really enjoying how this thing feels now, especially with the new clutch, the new brakes. It's, it's really tightened up the build and made it everything that I was hoping it was going to be. And uh, it just feels really good to have a car that actually has all the supporting mods for the power that it has. Also, now that we have working calipers in the rear now, the Hydro works really well. So uh, maybe we can go for a little bit of a test on that real quick. So there's nice late nights to Mexico, guys. I wanna show you that this uh, Hydro works really well. So uh, I guess, bam. Before you couldn't do that, it, it literally one of the calipers was seized open and it wouldn't work at all. Now that we got the Mazda Speed brakes on there which, with good calipers that aren't seized, it works perfect. Now look at this. Thing is gonna be a little ripper. Can't wait till, uh, I mean, it depends obviously what the winner decides to do with it, but this thing is gonna be a great all round car for no matter what you wanna do in motorsport. So it's obviously wet right now, so we ain't gonna have traction at all, but. Jeez. All spin, all tire spin. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Imagine that in the drive with, with grip. 
It's honestly mental. Absolutely mental. Honestly, this thing feels more nuts than the uh, the SR Roadster. Ooh, shots fired! <laughs> It's starting to pull in third before it loses traction. The thing just, it's mental. Jeez. It feels so good, right? <laughs> I can't wait for mine. Yeah, man. It's gonna be good when you turbo yours. By the way, Brett's filming, guys. Look at this guy. Brett's taking out the Yeeyada! You gotta say it, man. Yeah! Yeah, Yeeyada! <laughs> so here's where we're gonna actually end today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm pumped because we obviously got a bunch done on the car and uh, there's still a lot more to do on the engine side of things, you know, like all the seals plus uh, timing service and engine mounts. Um, and then I wanna change out the suspension as well. We gotta put that roll bar in. Um, just a bunch of that kind of little thing. Well, it's not little stuff. That's like another day's worth of work. Um, but the car is getting even more legit. And just the fact that it has a locked 4.3 now and the 1.8 upgraded one, it, there's gonna be very less chance that that thing is gonna break and cause me any trouble. And it's also gonna be able to get me out of tight situations. I don't know if you saw in the video where I got stuck in the mud, um, but one wheel kind of stopped moving and the other one was just spinning by itself. So even though it was viscous, it was obviously not working as it should in those situations. It's just not designed for off-road kind of purposes. You really should have a locked diff. Anyways, with that aside, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Once again, smash that like button, write it to the comment, tell me if you're excited for the name, Yeah, And I'll catch you all in tomorrow's video. Peace out, Jamata. Subscribe if you haven't too. Oh, <laughs>